Do you wanna get the most out of HubSpot? Well, it starts with logging your email and making sure it's connected with HubSpot. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect HubSpot with Gmail so you can log your emails, you can track those contacts and work smarter all inside of your email inbox. Let's dive in. When you're logged inside a HubSpot, you actually have the ability to email a contact directly inside their contact screen. So if you started here and you thought the only way for me to communicate with my contacts is to actually email from this screen, even if you wanted to email here, you actually have to connect your inbox to HubSpot in order for this to even be possible. So the first place we're gonna go is we're gonna go to user preferences and you're gonna find that in your settings up on the top right. And then inside your settings, you're gonna go to general. Now you'll see right now, if you have your email connected, you will actually show that your email is connected and it will show inbox automation turned on. So for the sake of this particular video, I'm going to disable this, actually remove it, and we're going to redo this so you can see how this works. So if you don't have this logged uh, to HubSpot yet, you'll see this email here and you'll go to connect personal email. Now, personal email means your work email, not necessarily your Hotmail or Yahoo, but in this case, we're gonna click on personal email. You do wanna turn on inbox automation that's gonna allow you to pick up any details that may come through your inbox and actually put it into the contact record. So like email addresses and phone numbers, that's really nice for it to just kind of snatch that, put that right inside the contact record. So I'm gonna turn this on and then connect your inbox. So here you're gonna add your email address. So we're gonna go ali at simplestrat.com and then we're going to go ahead and click next. And here it's going to ask you to verify with Gmail. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna click through and give it permission. We're going to ask it to choose an account and then grant that permission here. We're gonna select all and then continue. So once that happens, it'll say it's complete. It'll actually send a test message from your inbox as that is happening. And then once it's complete, you'll actually get a verification that all has gone well, and now you can actually move forward. So the next step, if you haven't done the extension download, so this is actually an extension, in your Chrome browser, you do wanna download the extension. Then I'll actually show you who's opened and tracked emails, but for now we're gonna say no thanks. We have a separate video about that. So now we actually have our email inbox um, automated here. It's connected and it's enabled. If you happen to be a admin, just real quick, you can actually go to users and teams and look up whether or not someone's inbox is enabled. So if you're an admin, you need to help with that. You can grab that here. So now that we're actually connected, let's go to this record here. So if this wasn't connected and I clicked on email, it would actually give me an error here, but now that it's connected, I can send this directly here. So if I wanted to actually send an email, let's say this is a test, and we're gonna say test here, I can click on send, and this will send just like it does from your inbox. So let's actually do that. Let's click on send. And you can see that we sent an email here inside of HubSpot. Let's actually look inside of our sent messages here inside of our email inbox. If you click on sent, you'll be able to see that that message that I just sent from HubSpot is actually logged here because when HubSpot sends an email, again, it is sent through your Gmail as a one-to-one, -one, not a mass email. So it's here in our test messages. Now let's actually say we want to have this now sent from our inbox. So this is where you do have, once you install your extension here in Gmail, to do this, this is where the extension comes in. You're going to go to your uh, Chrome extensions and download the HubSpot sales extension. So if you click on this, you'll see that it's called HubSpot sales. If you wanna go to your uh, extensions, that's where you would get it, download that, activate it. Once it's up here on the top right, when it's green, that means it's enabled. When it's red, it means it's not, so it'll actually have you log in. But once it is set up, you can actually see that you have all of the things here. Your connected inbox is set appropriately. You've got your portal ID, all the different things. The things that you might wanna set up as far as log and track, we'll go into here in a second. But again, you can see that that's here. So if I click on compose, now I can actually see that I have access to all of my HubSpot contacts right here in my Gmail, which is again, we're talking about connecting your Gmail, but look at how much more uh, helpful this is. So if I wanted to look for that contact that I just put in here, I'm actually gonna find it here, Ali Test, and we're gonna go like that. And now I can actually see her whole record here inside of HubSpot on the right-hand side. And then I can actually, if I wanted to, I can email her, definitely. But I can also say I can add a deal from here, I can add a task from here. So we've got a whole other video about being smart and working in HubSpot, but this is one of the things I absolutely love. If I wanted to email, I could actually just click and then it prompts an email here, which again, I could send a test, same sort of thing. I'm gonna call this test two, test two. And then here's where our login track settings come in. So if I want this to show up in HubSpot and from my Gmail, I wanna make sure that it's logged and it's tracked. I could set this for default. We'll show this here in a second. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on send. Now I have my Gmail set, so I've got a 60 second undo. Again, like this is because sometimes I forget things and I need to undo it, but it'll show up in HubSpot here in about 60 seconds. So while we're waiting, let's go over here to the uh, embed, or excuse me, the, uh, the extension, and let's talk about these log and track settings. So when you connect your email inbox with HubSpot, you do want to set your log and track settings so you're not always having to remember to turn them on. Now, I sit at the uh, company leadership perspective, so I'm not working with clients as much as I used to. So a lot of my emails may actually be things that I don't want to track. Uh, let's say communications to our lawyer or communications to partners. So I might actually turn these off by default. But if I had these turned on, you can see when I undo this, if I click on compose, now by default, my log and track settings are checked. So if I uncheck this by default, they will be unchecked. If they're unchecked, again, an email will not end up in HubSpot. Other things you can set on your log and track settings is you can put in never log email addresses. So you'll see that we have our accounting uh, emails are never logged to HubSpot. We've got a couple of uh, membership areas. My husband's email is never tracked at a HubSpot. And then by default, we're assuming we want HubSpot to find anything that's in the system related to contacts, companies, um, deals. And then if there isn't a contact in the system, I want it to create a new one. So again, you can adjust this if you want to. So now that we've got that here, let's head back to the Alley test record. Let's refresh the screen and you can see that we have both emails that came. This one came from when we sent it in HubSpot. This one came from when we sent it in Gmail. And if I want to see all the other activity on the record, I can do that. But again, all of that shows up here in HubSpot. And again, I don't have to log anything by hand. So quick review to set up your email in HubSpot. Again, this is the individual users. This is not marketing emails. We're gonna go to settings, general, click on email, and then you do wanna make sure your inbox automation is turned on. Quick tip, this is what you're going to use if you enroll folks in sequences inside of HubSpot. So this has to be done first before you can actually do that. And then lastly, you can actually change those never log emails here inside of HubSpot as well. And you can actually set entire domains here for the whole organization, not just yourself, if you happen to be an admin. So that's all there is to it. Give it a shot, connect that email inbox with Gmail. And in the next video, we'll talk more about those log and track settings.